Good evening, YouTube. Hardball Crazy come back with the video. Uh, today is a very special mail day. I um, I got a card in the mail that I'm kind of excited about getting. I, If you know my collection, I'd like, even though I do collect the main stuff, but I do like getting the the harder to find, the uh, something out of the ordinary. I'm not going to say oddball, because they're not really oddball. Uh, but... Uh, Stuff that you'll see every day, the stuff that you, if you go through my collection or anybody's collection, it kind of stops. Oh, what is this card? I've never seen this card before. Everybody's seen a gazillion of those, you'll say, today's subject is King Griffey Jr. How many 1989 Upper Deck King Griffey Jr. cards have you seen? How many uh, finest cards, base sets, and refractors, and stuff like that have you seen? But this card is something that many have not seen, many may have. But I will say many haven't, more than hasn't. Uh, this came one year set, um, 1993. Do you remember the 1993 Diamond Mark set? A black, oversized black border set came out of one year by the Berry Cola or Cola collection. And um, it's like a, bit, like a bookmark size, it's like half card, half bookmark. And um, black border, I don't have one to show you. So it looks like I'm sure, pretty sure you're all familiar with the uh, 1993 Diamond Mark set. It uh, came just about one year. Um, they um, then within that set they had one insert set of art cards, and I picked up the King Griffey Jr. of that. Probably, more, probably kind of familiar with the uh, backs of the because they're similar to the backs of the base Diamond Mark set. You can see it's like a bookmark size cards, half card, half bookmark. Uh, cool artwork, more on that in a minute. Uh, the 1993, like I said, they only produced one a year. They made uh, 2,500 cases, and there were four box cases, so there's basically 10,000 boxes. The base set was like 120 cards, and there's like 48 packs per box, so the uh, the uh, base cards are not that uh, rare, kind of plentiful. You could probably buy a box and have at least two sets plus many dupes within the within the set if you were to buy a box. And the boxes are pretty affordable, I think. I think they're in a $40, $35 area, maybe somewhere in that area. But these art cards, they only came in one per box. So um, one in every 48 packs or... Uh, since there's only 2,500 cases and four boxes per case, that means there's only 10,000 total boxes, right? Do my math right. And this eight card insert set, if it's uh, is only printed one per box, that means there's a total of 10,000 cards for this entire print run of the insert set, eight card insert set, which means there's only 1,250 cards per card in this insert set. So there's basically, this is a 1250 print run of 1993. So if you had a 1993 print run card, printed on the back with a serial number to 1250, you'd probably have a lot more uh, uh, popularity, a lot more demand for it. But you know, it's kind of, it's just kind of under the radar, very cool art card, the Seattle Skyline needle and, and everything here with King Griffith Jr. And uh, Barry Bonds is in the set. I don't know if Nate Tops 85401 has that. Barry Bonds in his Barry Bonds PC. There is Frank Thomas, Roberto Alomar. There is John Olerud, Dave Justice. I can't remember who the rest of them, but they're the ones at the top of my head. There are. Uh, they're kind of pricey. I think you're looking for those more common players in the $40, $50 area on eBay. I found this one a good deal on eBay. It took a while to get to because it came from Canada. Uh, but this is my very cool King Griffey Jr. card. I don't know how many how many of you guys have any of these 93 Diamond Marks art cards. If you're familiar with this art, if you recognize this, where does this art come from? Hi, this kind of looks familiar. This artwork looks familiar. It is a, by the same artist that did the 1991 Pro and early 90s Pro Visions. Oops. Terry Smith did the same art. 
And I don't know how many more outside the provisions and his dino marks. I don't think he did had any other inserts or art cards within the hobby at any sport. You bet he knows more. I'm not a Terry Smith uh, expert base, uh, or a card art expert, but this is the same artist to add to my collection. I'm very add, happy to add the uh, King Griffey Jr. Diamond Marks um, art card. I don't think there's officially a title for this insert set. Insert art card, art set, insert card. I did a search on eBay for Diamond Marks insert set or Diamond Marks art. And uh, this is what pops, they pop up. This is not really a name for that insert. Um, very happy to add this to my um, junior collection, my baseball card collection. And um, one other note, this is probably my last big showcase mail day for a while. Uh, I am going to the National. I will see you all at the National. I uh, hope to meet some of you guys in person. I will be there most of the week, I believe. Um, but I will be saving uh, some of my purchases for the National. I don't want to be spending money on cars to eBay or whatnot. Not whatnot at, but wherever. And uh, and uh, not have uh, the hand forcing a pass up on a card or an event or something going on in Chicago. And I was like, oh, if I didn't spit, buy this card on eBay or these series of cards on eBay, I could have do this. But uh, instead, I'll be having a little bit of a... Buying freeze, I'll be choosing some showcase videos, some other um, things that pop up in my head to, to uh, talk about within the hobby, show some cards and whatnot. But uh, there you have it. That's my very cool mail day. And um, thank you for watching and see you all the national. And uh, have a good night.